Now we can go ahead and create our first component in Svelte. This plus page dot Svelte is actually a special component within SvelteKit. We'll get more into that in the SvelteKit area. For now, what I'm going to do is create a new component uh, just by adding a file right here, and I'm going to call this one kitten.svelte. And we're going to actually copy all of this and put that over here. So now we have everything that we had before, but what I'm going to do on this side is take and remove all of the HTML and just leave the script tag for now. But I'm going to do an h1 and put hello kittens. Okay, cool. The reason that I would leave this script tag is so that I can do an import and I'm going to call this kitten and then I'm going to say from dot slash kitten dot svelte. So now that I have this, the way that you actually use a component is by name, and so that's it. So if I place kitten in here and make sure it's actually saved, kitten immediately appears. So this is a very static file at this point, but something that we want to do is create props. So now in the king component, what we can do is add different props to allow things to change. So the first thing that we can do is update these to export. Export just says from this component, I'm allowing these different variables to be updated. So now if I just save, there should be no effect. However, on this side, I can do a second kitten component. So on this second kitten component, I can now do a source equal to, and then I'll just put in a string for a tenor image. Now uh, we still see that this cat is a sandwich. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and update this field. Let me zoom out just a little bit so you get an idea of the alt here. You'll notice that it's complaining. This is because I forgot the prop name. When I check it, it was actually name out here. So now you're starting to see the composability. We still have our styling that is white on our H tag here. We have a kitten that has default props. And then we have another kitten from the same component using our new props that we pass in. Now, just to confirm that that P tag is not leaking out when we have our P styling at this component level, let's take a look. We're gonna add a P tag in here that says these wild and crazy cats. When I save that, you'll notice it's still in white. That is because those P's are scoped. So I'm gonna open the Chrome debugger console by right-clicking and clicking inspect. You could also do uh, command option I if you're on Mac. We can actually see on this P tag that has VKUF, there's two of them. Here's the other one. These P tags have the color on them. So you can see directly how it has P and then the actual assignment of the class name. If I were to look at this P, there's nothing. It just uses our default white color. So that's how the .svelte file encapsulates all of the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript together inside of those nested Svelte components.